Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. So welcome to another one of my travel vlogs and the main purpose of this trip today is to see wombats. So I personally have seen wombats before both in the night and the day but my wife has not seen wombats in the day before and that is something she has always wanted to do. So here we are traveling all the way from Sydney to Kangaroo Valley for the sole purpose of seeing one or maybe a few. On our way to Kangaroo Valley, we made a pit stop at Kiama to check out one of their tourist attractions, Kiama Blowhole. Kiama is a small little town that I would check out as a pit stop on a road trip. But personally, it is not a place that I would travel to just to visit as a sole destination. Okay, so after two and a half hours to three hours of driving, we have finally arrived at our accommodation for the night, which is Bandila Recreation Area. So I came back to the exact spot where I was camping the previous time. And the reason why I chose this spot is because uh, over there, you can see the river. And not too far from here, we get easy access to the toilet, but at the same time, we are not too close, so we wouldn't smell anything foul. And we are also very near to the spot where we can explore further behind. So yeah, we're going to set up our tent here. After 35 minutes of setup, let us give you a quick tour of the place. And as you can see, we decided to go glamping this time. We brought out the big tent. And apart from the tent, we even have a table, two chairs, or tr one stool. We even have a fan. And she even brought her soft toy. We have lots of room to sleep and even stand and walk about. So yeah, we're going to be comfortable. Look what came up to our campsite. Two ducks. Right now we are going for an evening stroll. It's currently almost 5pm. I do think it's a little too early to see wombats but Paula wanted to head out for a walk earlier, so here we are. So we are currently walking at the back part of Bandila Recreation Area. From what I understand, this area of the campsite is closed and only open during the school holidays. So, but we still can access the place, it's just that we can't drive our vehicles into it. Also, this entire vlog's audio is captured on the Sony EC1BM mic. Is that the name of this microphone? Uh, how does the audio quality sound? And the wind now is pretty strong. So if none of the wind noise is captured on this microphone, uh, this is actually not a bad microphone because it's a very small and portable. And the best part is that no wires are required. So. Uh, and in fact, the audio gain levels are automatic. So I don't have to worry about any settings on this mic. So yeah, I'm going to do a review on this microphone soon enough. Uh, this is just, you know, testing out in the field for a bit first. So yeah, you believe that this is a wombat burrow? I never try to find. So our first attempt to look for wombats has failed. It's okay, we found some of their barrels. So later when we come back, we know where to look. So I brought my FPV drone along because this place looks like the perfect place to fly. It's a relatively open space, but at the same time, there's still a couple of trees and some gaps for me to practice. So yeah, I'm going to switch over to the FPV.
I okay, saw then. a woman in the toilet when I was washing the dishes. So <laughs> cute, it looks like a pig. Like a grey pig. Is that? So Paula just brought me to the spot where she saw the wombats. And the butt is there, that's the butt. So there's another one right there. So there's one here. And another one here. Oh my god, he's coming out, look. He's looking at us. So it's 6.35 and we finally saw the wombats. So they are the most active from dusk to dawn. So if you come in the afternoon, I think the chances of you seeing them is going to be very low. So if you do want to come and see them, I think your best bet is to come and camp here and spend the day here. So there's one over here. This is the third one that we are seeing. Okay, so we got our fourth one right here. At this point, it's honestly no longer a challenge. There's just so many of them around here. And they're not really shy. Unlike the previous wombats we've seen, every time we come across them, they run away so quickly. But here, you know, they just continue grazing on. Okay, so we got number five over here. Yes. So the rest of the day, we actually saw even more wombats. Uh, we didn't even bother keeping count. But yeah, basically, it was a fruitful day. Unfortunately, the light wasn't great, so I didn't manage to capture good footage, but it's always nice to see them regardless. Apart from being able to spot wombats, this location is good for spotting all sorts of other wildlife. So here are some shots of the other animals. As this was a short trip, we didn't plan anything else other than just looking for wombats and hanging out by the campsite. Like I said, this trip was a short one and our main objective was to see wombats and we did so mission accomplished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That's pretty much it for today. It's a wrap!